That's what you say. Sunset, hold up. Everybody in the action, but yeah, I said I gotta take over. You know what I'm saying? Not, not the best action. You ain't supposed to be, supposed to be, ain't supposed to be passing the ball. Take her here. You can take her next time. I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her like tomorrow. <laughs> She's always asking. My name is Elijah Lufile. I go to Oral Roberts University. I'm a forward. I'm in my third year and I grew up in Burlington, Ontario. Uh, growing up, I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, five siblings. I'm the youngest of five. I uh, also grew up with three older brothers who, you know, were really good at basketball. My oldest brother, Shadrach Lufile, at an Assumptions Secondary High School in Burlington, Ontario, went to went on to play in JUCO and then went on to play in Division One at uh, uh, Wichita State University. Then I have another one, Meshach Lufile, who played CIS. Um, kind of had a similar story that I did. And my other brother, Abednego Lufile, played at e Eastern Tennessee State. Uh, I was a lot shorter than my brothers. I was a lot chubbier. Didn't have the athletic gene at the time. Um, also did not believe in myself. I really, honestly, didn't think I would ever reach there. I really thought I wouldn't even play basketball. I was into other things, um, such as music and playing instruments like I did in the church growing up. But my, my brothers believed in me. They encouraged me. Uh, I also struggled with, uh, you know, a lot of self-esteem issues growing up because uh, I was always told you can't do it. I was always told, no, you're not good enough. The typical things that people would tell you if they don't see potential in you. Uh, but it was up to me to see the potential in myself. I dealt with anger issues growing up, um, always getting mad, fighting a lot. And basketball is what really helped me. God, number one, but basketball was something that I could relate to more because uh, I just enjoyed it. It's hard to explain, but it's got me out of a lot of trouble today. I'm able to have an education and because of basketball. I wasn't highly recruited out at all. Uh, I had no offers from Division One, Division Two, or JUCO uh, during my early years in high school. And even later on, I had to return a fifth year to even get a JUCO offer. And I was thankful. I took the opportunity in the Lamar Community College in Denver, Colorado. But in high school, I had absolutely nothing. I just had, you know, me just working hard and playing a lot of games and trying to go to this camp and this camp. I would go to the Northern Kings, uh, you know, AAU camp just to even get noticed, to even try to get on the team. The moment where uh, I told myself, nothing's gonna stop me, I'm gonna do whatever it takes was the moment I found out my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Um, Are you okay talking about these? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. My mother was diagnosed with cancer, uh, uh, cancer in the liver, that's a rare cancer. I can't remember the name of it, but she was diagnosed in 2017. Uh, and that was the same time around where I found out that I had an enlarged heart and I wasn't able to play my first year of uh, college basketball in Juco. Finding out my health issues the same time my mom found out about hers kind of drew me closer to her and because she was my biggest supporter and she said, always have faith. I wasn't really angry, I was more so emotional and depressed um, and questioning you know, God about why this is happening to me. But regardless, I would always have faith and read the word and continue to push forward. Um, you know, my faith is, you know, has risen in so many different occasions because I've been through a lot. So there's been times where I've doubted myself, doubted God, but regardless, I knew that I was gonna make it through. And I told myself, whatever it takes, whatever I have to do, whatever I go through, I gotta go through it. And for the sake of my parents, for the sake of setting up my family in the future, to be, you know, be in a great position better than I was. And I told myself, there's nothing that could, that's gonna stop me. Whatever that's in front of me, I'm gonna get over it and I'm gonna push through. And I think my mom being diagnosed was something that I, I might open my eyes a lot. Uh, hearing the news about my mom, about how she was doing was, it was a roller coaster of events because sometimes she would be doing good, sometimes she would do, be doing really horrible. But when I found out it was getting worse and she had to be hospitalized and ambulance had to come, I was, I would get phone calls from my brother and he would tell me, and it, sometimes I'll get a text during class, um, during test or whatever the case may be. It was, it was at moments where you can't, you can't prepare for those moments and you really have to control your emotions uh, around people. I mean, if you want, you can do it me. So we were in a sweet 16, we're about to play in Arkansas and then I, I end up heading going home. 
to get a couple of doctors checkups and uh, I'm sitting I'm sitting there watching tuned in and you know my heart's pounding just games were just tied up and really close so um, and unfortunately we didn't make it through the sweet 16 and but I was able to be there with my family and witness it even though I wasn't playing uh, and I called my teammates and I you know I was very proud of them how far they got how far my coach got and it was very difficult to see my mom the you know the way she was but she was uh, she was happy you know she was happy to see all her children and uh, it was just a great experience being in that environment in my home and there's no you know there's no there's no other people I'd rather be around with and during a time like this and a time where our mom needs us and time where um, you know I'm going through situations and it just all played out you know perfectly it was crazy and it brought everyone together uh, one of the craziest things was going to airports and traveling and people recognizing that I go to ORU and uh, getting people to take pictures with me even though I didn't play and I think that was uh, our school made a big impact on people's lives knowing that it's a Christian school private school a lot of people uh, really uh, were in tune with our school and I, I mean it really brought people together uh, and how our coach spoke about God and how he spoke about our school was very humble about every situation that we've ever experienced. And even though we were getting blessed by winning and all these things, he was still humbling himself uh, before people. Uh, I choose to, you know, play basketball and go to school in the name of Christ uh, and live for Christ um, just as he died for us. So everything I do, I try to honor him and give glory to his name uh, by playing the game I go, like playing the game that I play and uh, obviously I want to be able to help my community and not just for my own selfish reasons I want to uh, make sure my family's okay and you know take care of my family my future family with kids and all these things so I have a um, you know I have a goal of what I'm trying to do in my life and how I'm trying to build my life you know we only get one life you know it's like it's, you, you had to choose how you want to spend it My diagnosis has been, uh, I've been angry about it. I've been, you know, it's been questionable and I've, uh, I've always been very, just so uncertain of why it was happening. But I can say that God does things for a reason. And as a man of faith, I know that, um, you know, in life, there's certain, there are certain decisions that you gotta make in life. And uh, whatever decision you make in life, um, you know, it's gonna determine what you gain in life. It's gonna determine where you go in life. And I, I know that I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, which everyone has, but I know there's moments in life where I've been prepared for moments like this, moments where I couldn't play. You know, was it gonna break me or was it gonna make me? I think relating to that in my life, I had to come together with my family in prayer, had to be by myself in prayer and stand up and be like, you know what? I'm gonna just keep pushing forward and trusting God. And the Bible says God is not a God that shall lie. You know, he always has prom he has promises for us. He didn't create us for no reason. He has promises for us. And as long as we believe, we're gonna see the glory of God. That means we're gonna see what he has for us if we just push through. My name is Elijah Lufile. This is my home court on East Candy Sports.